Welcome to another episode of Fresh. In this video, we will be addressing the most frequently asked question by buyers and investors, and it is where to buy property in Bangkok. This video will have a subjective element to it, simply because normally we would review the buyer's situation and their requirements and propose areas accordingly. But look, let's keep it simple. Let's look at the areas where our agents close the most rental and sales deals and hopefully you'll get an overview of the top areas for our agency. So keep watching. And for the first area, MRT Petrobury. For anyone familiar with Bangkok, you might be telling yourself, well, MRT Petrobury is technically a soak, and you would be correct. So Petrobury is located on the northern end of a soak. We have selected this area for three reasons. The first reason is convenience. It is sandwiched between the Asok Business District and Rama 9, which is considered the new central business district, making it ideal for working professionals. The second reason is its commercial potential. There are a lot of commercial developments going up in the area. The Singha complex has just been developed and there is a huge plot of land owned by the State Railway of Thailand that could potentially be developed into a mega mixed-use development. The third and final reason is really its relative affordability. Prices of condos in the area are still relatively cheap, and because of the low starting price, you are looking at yields between 4.5% all the way up to 5.5%. Quick fact, the office of Fresh Property is actually located in MRT Petrobury, so we really believe in this area. And up next is an area we cover a lot on Fresh Properties channel. We've actually done three videos about it. It is the Onnut neighborhood. The reason we love this area so much is simple. We do so much business there. I believe the first condo we rented and the first condo we sold was actually in Onnut. Two reasons for the area's popularity. The first reason it is a very cheap place to invest. The condos start at only 80,000 baht per square meter and it goes up to about 140,000 baht per square meter. Because of its low starting price, yields range between 5% all the way up to 7% if you're lucky. And the second reason, you can't take away the fact that the area has a very, very pleasant lifestyle. I believe in the 500 meter radius around the BTS station, there's already three supermarkets, there's a few shopping malls, there's a lot of restaurants, coffee shop. It's got such a laid back and relaxed lifestyle. And this is why this is an area that we have picked for this video. And for this pick, we wanted something unpredictable, something a bit of a wild card entry, and it has got to go to Samyan. Samyan is a very interesting area that has picked up a lot and developed a lot in recent years. And the reason for that is, first, it is an education hub at the moment. There is a university called Chua Long Korn in the area, and it's the top university in Thailand. So it is a student hub. It has a cool, trendy, 
vibe. And the second reason is now commercial and residential developers have started to pay attention to the area and there is so much development going on in that specific neighborhood. Right now, Samyan Midtown has just gone up. It's a huge mixed-use complex which has a shopping center, a condominium and it's got uh, office space. There's a lot of condos by famous developers like Ananda and Puxa. And really this area has a lot of potential to shoot up and rocket when it comes to capital appreciation. So really for anyone looking for something in, with incredible potential, maybe check out the Samyan area. And for the skeptics watching this video, you must be telling yourself, this guy tells us to buy everything. Buy here, buy there, buy everywhere. Yeah, buy everywhere, right? But does he have skin in the game? Has he bought a condo in Bangkok? And the answer is yes. I have bought in an area called Ekamai. The reason for that is it is located next to Tonglo and it offers a very, very relaxed, laid back and super hip lifestyle. There's a lot of coffee shops, shopping malls, a lot of restaurants located in this neighborhood. And when you look at the condo options available, you are looking at a great price range between 100,000 baht all the way up to 200,000 baht per square meter. The area, I believe, has great capital appreciation potential and it already has a very well-established rental market. So this is the reason I have chosen the Ekamai area and this is my top pick for this video. So let me address the elephant in the room. Obviously, the Bangkok property market is going through a challenging period. The COVID crisis is hammering the market pretty hard. But really, I see this as an opportunity for buyers and investors. It is a great time to get discounts, to negotiate quite hard and to get good deals. The second thing is the holding period. When you are buying property, when you are buying real estate, think about the long term. Look at holding that property for a period of three to five years to 10 years. That's how you will benefit for capital appreciation. I see the Bangkok property market as having amazing fundamentals. It's a great place to live and invest for the long term. So what do you think is the best place to invest in Bangkok? Please leave that in the comments below. And if you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.